This week's guest is Clara Nardi. She is an artist, entrepreneur, and coach, creating educational programs for creatives. She suddenly found herself jobless after a dream career in the corporate world and forged ahead to discover her own creative path, only to realize she's not the only one who could use the skills and systems she's learned along the way. Now she helps other creatives find their path, and we are going to dive right into her story. Clara Nardi, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to cover this topic. It's such an important topic for so many people in the quilting world. So it's nice to have you here. I always love to get to know you a little bit to start to show. So where in the world do you live with your family now? And where did you grow up? I currently live in Connecticut in the U.S. And I grew up in Ghana, West Africa. That's where I was born and raised and later moved here to the United States as an adult. Okay, and so were you surrounded by creativity as a little child growing up or did that come later in life? Um, I would say I was surrounded by creativity in some ways. My mom um, used to sew, she made um, baby clothes. And the thing that I found so creative about her sewing was the embroidery. She made embroidery beautiful things around the like the neck of the clothes the sleeves and she added these little beautiful things that made the clothes different from the usual clothes that you'd see and I remember that uh, when we started school my sisters and I had all these very pretty school uniforms although <laughs> the schools had like standard uniforms that we were supposed to wear. My mom would put a little embroidery here on the pocket, on here and there. So I did grow up with that um, environment. Let's talk for a minute about the photo right behind you, Clara. The face is just extraordinary. So if you see which one I'm talking about, go to the Tuesday podcast preview so that you can see actually see the photo in the background. What's the meaning behind that? So this piece is called Catching God's Eye. I'm a woman of faith and I attend church. And there's this um, tradition of wearing big hats in African-American churches. And so this piece is about the intersection of faith and fashion. And there is this saying that the women say to each other when you have this flamboyant um, hat, and it's looking very nice. They, they ask you a question, are you trying to catch God's eye? You know, so that's the, the title of this piece. And it's about um, joy, even in the presence of trouble and um, trials. And it's about the fact that um, having joy is not the absence of trouble. Course. Now we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about Clara's path to excellence in stitching, how she grew as a quilter, the heartbreaking story behind the Charlena Lyles quilt, and how Clara's art creation journey blossomed into a creative coaching business. So don't go away. Northcott Fabrics are famous to quilters for their Stonehenge and O Canada collections. Right here on this podcast, we give away fabric from Northcott Collections, Banyan Boutiques, and Figo Fabrics. Look for all of these at your local quilt shop. Northcott, cottons that feel like silk. Did you like this trailer? Click on the link in the description below to listen to the full podcast. 